Hello everybody, this is the Lousy 88 and my grumbly, my grumbly dog. <laughs> oh, did your ball fall away? Get it then. I'll have it. I'll get it. Get your ball. Get your ball. I'll have it. Yeah, get your ball. Get your ball. Good girl. Good girl. You got your ball. Okay. So today I'm going to be showing you some of the prizes that I've won from Toriba. Some of these I paid for to win, some of these I did not pay for to win, some of them were free play wins. I got a little bit addicted for a while. Um, I was having a very hard time at work. I was a bit depressed and I am currently fussing my dog now because she's wondering what's going on. I love you too, I do, I love you. And basically I spent a lot of money I've been pretty good since. Um, I tend to set myself a budget now for each prize. Like I look it up, how much can I buy it for? And then I'm like, do I want to try and play? Do I think, do I, think I can win it? Um, but I'm also trying to cut back a little bit. So we shall see. We shall see. Good girl in bed. Bed, bed, bed. Good girl. Good girl. So the first prize <laughs> that I got, these are in no particular order. I won these in, they were just on the top. So, oh no, I know, lie down. Hey Mushi, hey Mushi. Yeah, you play with Mushi. So the first one I'm gonna show you, I'm not taking any of these out of packaging because I'm not sure what I'm doing with them yet. Some of them I won because I wanted them and some of them I won because I thought they'd be good gifts and some of them they were just so obviously easy to win I couldn't resist them. So, so the first one that I won is this, um, I think it's the Crimes, yes it's the Crimes of Grindelwald plushie and this is the Niffler. And, uh, he's just adorable. My little ball face. Um, I'm thinking of my friend, one of my friends and I really love the Harry Potter franchise, uh, including the Crimes of Grindelwald. So, uh, and the, obviously the first one, Fantastic Beasts, somewhere to find them, you know. Um, and she loves the Niffler, and I've just noticed there's a big tail here as well. I didn't realise the Niffler had such a long tail. It's been a while since I've seen the movie. And this one actually took me forever to win. Um, I'm only going to show you the clip where I won it because it's embarrassing how long it took me. But essentially it was on one of those ones where you have to like scrape it off the side. And I was doing really, really well and I was about to win it and then I had a bit of lag and basically I pushed it when I should have pulled it and had to start over again because I was like I'm not letting this toy go this toy is not going anywhere so this one actually cost me quite a bit it was like $30 for this one if not a bit more I have no recollection of how much I paid I was just like I'm gonna keep playing I'm gonna keep going with this let's let's see what I win today and I was just having a really bad time um, there's a lot of stuff going on I'm not gonna bore you guys with it but yeah it's not not been the best of times for me Alright, so the next thing that I won is this. It looks like nothing to you guys. Get me turned around. This. So this is a Hattie Fadner plush. It's a cool to the touch one. And I just love its little arms. Look at how cute they are. This one, again, took me forever to win because um, it got stuck. It got wedged to one side of the bar. It was hanging on by like this much plastic and it got wedged and I could not aim to get the thing to just flick it over. But there was a queue of people behind me and I'm like, if I stop playing, they're gonna win on like the first try and I'm gonna be super pissed. So I kept going and I kept going and I thought he was bigger than this. It said 50 centimeters so I sh I should know what 50 centimeters is, but I wasn't really thinking clearly at the time. And what I wanted was one of those long, like, hug pillows. So you, like, put your arm and then you can, like, wrap your leg around because 
I get backache. So I thought, oh, I can win. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's very kind of you to join in. Mm -hmm. um, and she's normally really, really good with me filming, but she's being a bit needy today. So I don't know. Maybe she's, she, I think she's missing her daddy. So are you missing your daddy? Are you missing daddy? Is that what it is? Yeah. Are you missing daddy? Yeah. Missing da Oh, she's coming for hugs now. Alright, she's missing her daddy. Now, it's like the most simplest of plushies, but I wanted this one because you don't get much Hattie Fatner Moomin merchandise. Like, you get Moomin Troll, you get Little Mai, Snufkin, Moomin Mama, Papa, all that kind of thing. You get those, but it's not often that you get the Hattie Fatner stuff. I want to keep him bagged for the moment because until I get my own place and I can display him, I don't want him to get dirty because I don't know how, you know, obviously dependent on what got on him, it could be really difficult or impossible to clean. So he's staying in the bag. For now. The next thing I got was, now I tried for this for freaking ages. I tried for this plushie for absolutely weeks and weeks and weeks on my free plays and in the end I'm like I'm gonna have to pay some money for this one because I want it and um, it's the little strawberry gorilla kuma so he's got his little red panties on with his little strawberry seeds and he's got his little strawberry hat on and I don't know why like he's supposed to sit I believe like this so he has like one hand by his side and the other hand is like up down here you're okay you're okay she's a rescue in case any of you are wondering the reason why she gets like this she's done it since we had her which was about six months ago um, she was really treated badly and every now and then when my dad goes out, um, because he's her protector, she gets a little bit scared. So it doesn't matter that I'm here. She misses her daddy. So this is just absolutely adorable. I'm still rubbing your butt. You don't have to be funny about it. Come on. Let me rub your butt. Let me, oh, I'll get you both. I'll get you both. Oh, okay. You want cuddles? Okay. Okay. I don't think people are going to mind that I'm buffing you and stuff, do you? I don't think they're gonna mind one bit. No. No, I don't think they're gonna mind. One day I'll show you on my videos. We'll do a doggy massage video because I know you'll love that. But I need her to be a little bit more. Um, she She's still really nervous about things, so a camera kind of would freak her out, so. But yeah, I got this. And in, it actually only took me about six tries to win this. I was so happy. Um, somehow either the claw was really strong or I just had really good aim I'm not quite sure what happened but basically I managed to shimmy him off so far and then just go whoop and he toppled over so that was amazing um where do I put him he can go back where he came <laughs> yeah all right this one <laughs> This next one I won because I don't know why. I don't know why. I thought it was funny. I don't know one. I think this is from One Piece. I don't know One Piece. I haven't got a clue. Oh, it is from One Piece. Yeah, I haven't got a clue. I think it's Nami um, from what I've seen other people saying, but it's a mouse pad. <laughs> but it's got wrist support, so it's really good, really. I just thought it was hilarious, and I was like, I have to own one of these so that's kind of what you do you just I wasn't sure I was originally gonna get it for my dad I thought oh he'll really like that he'll find that absolutely hilarious but then I realized he's got a Mac computer so he doesn't actually use a mouse and I was like ah oh, damn so what I'm probably gonna do is once I've set up um, my desk exactly how I like it once I've figured everything out because at the moment everything is just all over the place um, I'm probably going to have this so that when I play video games, I can use my wireless mouse with my laptop and 
but this will probably work really nicely for me so it was originally bought as a joke I like, like it's gonna be a gag gift but actually I think it's gonna be really good I think I think this is gonna work out quite well and what can I say her boobs are soft so it's perfectly good and then this is actually the most some of those were quite old prizes but they were the bulky ones on the top and this one I didn't even expect to win um, I'm so so happy it cost me $30 but actually I really don't care that it cost me $30 because I have wanted a Hatsune Miku figure for ages it's not the one I wanted um, but I'm perfectly happy with it <laughs> It's absolutely beautiful. It is the new Gradation Resort. Uh, it's a super premium figure, Hatsune Miku. And I want to take this out of the box because I want to display it. I want to have this one out on display um, with my cute baskets and things. So I know I'm cuddling you. I am fussing you. I know you're just too adorable, but you need to be quiet. Okay. You be a good girl. So originally I was like, oh, this isn't the one I wanted. I think I'll sell it on. And then it came and I was like, no, I want this one. Now, some of you might be asking, why did I pay $30 to win a figure that I didn't really want that much? Because I used my three free plays and I was so sure I was going to win so I put $10 in and it was just too close to not continue so yeah but actually I do really like the figure it's not that I don't like the figure it's just the fact that it's there was two figures that I was I could go for one with her with a um like a inflatable ring thing and one and this one here and it was just a case of <laughs> it was just <laughs> be quiet be quiet baby So this is the figure looks like she's like passed out or something these are her hair pieces it's so funny that her hair pieces come separate um, but yeah I, I wanted the one with the rubber ring but they just hadn't put it in what I would class for me with my skill level a winnable machine so I decided that I was going to not worry about it I was just gonna have the figure that I could get so that is what I did I knew I could win this one I had no doubt at all in my mind that I could win this one I knew it would take a while but to be honest these figures are about 20 25 pound plus postage then I've got import so $30 was probably about right for what it would cost so I'm gonna take her out she is like gorgeous I'm kind of in awe right now so I will probably get rid of the box because I don't think I need it I think she's supposed to be going on the sand to the beach. Is she supposed to be going on the sand to the beach or the beach to the sand? It doesn't show. It doesn't show. Maybe she can go either way. She's probably supposed to be heading towards the water, I would think. But I can't get her foot in. Oh, okay. I think it is that way because I think her foot is small. Okay, there we go. Okay, so she's coming away from the water. And it's so strange. 
seeing her hair pieces. Oh, you can only see her legs. I thought I was in shot. This is terrible. I'm doing a terrible job of opening this one because I'm trying to keep my doggy happy. I know, baby, I know. You're just so sad and depressed. It's terrible. So it comes with our two hair pieces here. Okay, so they've given us two different shapes so we don't mess up which side it goes on, which is really nice because I would not have had a clue. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at this figure. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. See, all I wanted was a Hatsune Miku figure. I don't think I need another one. If I manage to win one, the, I tried ages ago. I paid like $60 way, 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 way back in like February. I tried to win the Sakura Miku and I failed miserably. So this is the figure. She's got her blue bathing suit on. She's got her Crocs or whatever they are. She's kind of got her ass hanging out a little bit, but it's going to be behind the figure, so it's not that not that big of an importance. But uh, no, it's so beautiful. She's got blue nail varnish on. Oh, this is like clear here, so oh, it's so beautiful. This oh, this is my favorite figure now. I still really love my coupon skits though, so this is my favorite figure figure. It's my first figure figure, actually. It's my only figure figure. I don't... You're okay. You're okay. I don't own any other figure figures, so. <laughs> My dog is terrible. I think this will be the last video I try and film today. <laughs> She's obviously bored with me. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I'm so, so happy about it. I finally have a Hatsune Miku figure. Okay, admittedly, she's half naked, but exactly, that's what I thought. You know, she could have at least put some clothes on, right? She could have at least had some, like a jumper on or something, but no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, she's beautiful. She's absolutely stunningly gorgeous. I love it so much. It's really good balance as well, so I'm not worried that it's gonna tip. Like, you could knock her arms and she's not gonna go anywhere. So, I'm gonna end this video. It's a bit of a disaster, this one, to be honest, but I think, I think my dog has made it slightly more interesting slightly more interesting yeah i'm just rubbing her butt with my foot right now because she all she wants is attention now if i wasn't filming i would just leave her to whinge and she would be quiet for like five minutes because she'd be like oh i'm not getting attention oh i don't need to do it anymore but um because i'm filming i'm rubbing her butt and she's very happy right now she has a little smile on her face so yeah Alright, thank you so much for watching this guys. Let me know what was your favourite out of the five prizes I showed today. I will do a video with more um, prize unboxings because I still have a full big box. I have, it's it's currently August, okay? This is, this is why there's a beach style um, thing in my, in my prize unboxing. But um, I actually have not unboxed anything since the first prize unboxing that I did. And I need to go back and unbox that stuff because I want to use it. And some of it is going to be obviously presents for people. So I need to go back and actually like show you guys so that I can use it. All right. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. My favorite for today is this figure. I thought it was going to be the real Akuma plush. I'm not going to lie. Um, before I open the box, the box is not particularly, like, it doesn't really show off, I don't think, her best angles. And it doesn't show you a full image of the, um, the figure. So, I didn't really know what I was getting, per se. And actually, she's stunningly beautiful. Her face is gorgeous. The only thing I'm not that keen on is her nose is very pointy. But she is supposed to be animated, so... 
you know, I'm completely okay with it. I just, she is just beautiful. The colors are gorgeous. The figure shaping is gorgeous. Every time I look at her, I'll be jealous of the fact that she has a better figure than me. But, you know, that's okay. We'll, well I can deal with the jealousy. <laughs> I love the base as well. That's detailed with the water behind her and she's on the sand. It's a cute little bathing suit. You won't catch me in one like that. I do not have the figure to pull that off, but anyways, I will see you guys soon. Bye.